Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today we have Hirono's newest release called Reshape. The artistic style of these figures are slightly more bold and colorful compared to their older sets, so I am quite excited to see these figures in person. Let's start unboxing. Here is the box. We have a paper finishing again. And turning over, this time we have 9 basic figures and one secret. The secret is called Puppet and I heard it's a ball joint doll. So far, I have not gotten any secrets yet, so we're manifesting it today, guys. Please, I really want the secret. It looks so good. Here we go, box number one. Ooh, and this time we have a paper bag with design. That looks good. Just a fun fact, I have not seen any photos apart from the Instagram ones. So I'm really going into this set blind, completely blind. Figure one is Voyage. Ooh, this Hirono is a spaceship, right? Yeah, it looks like a spaceship. It looks like it's made of recycled cardboard. <laughs> Wow, I really think this series is very different from the others. That's why I bought a full set because I think the style is very different from the others. Looks like Hirono is standing on a moon. And it says Odyssey Hirono on the front. Here it says cancelled, handle with care. And we have a newspaper article behind. It says Hirono on the moon. Right. I'm hoping you guys can see more clearly. Top news in brief. So it seems like Hirono flying to the moon is headlining. Must be big news for them. So this is figure number one. Box number two. So you can't open the new boxes properly. <laughs> Figure 2 is Burst. Look at the card, it looks so nice. So when I saw the photos on Instagram, I thought Hirono was only red and yellow and that reminded me of ketchup and mustard. But turning over, oh my goodness, Hirono actually has a different hair color and a different overalls. Yeah, different overalls color. I was quite shocked when I took it out and I saw four different colors. So we have contrasting colors, blue and red, and down here is green and yellow. Can you guys tell that Hirono's overalls are actually sort of a balloon design? And it seems like he is trying to inflate himself with this tube. Wow, this design is really special. I think it's going to be one of my favorites. And Hirono is standing on a cloud. Wow, this is my first time seeing such vibrant colors on Hirono. I am pretty sure Hirono usually uses more dull greens and beige and browns, but not really bright red or bright blue. So in the middle it says burst. I'm hoping Hirono doesn't blow himself up literally. Please love yourself more, Hirono. That is figure two. Box 3. My favorite one from this set is Fading. It's the one that looks like a little ghost. I think that one's really cute. Figure 3 is Costume. When I first saw this, it reminded me of this Hirono because they both are dressed in oversized clothes. And one special thing about this one is ta da! <laughs> Hirono has a red balloon for his head, so this Hirono actually looks quite scary. Um, the head is a balloon and it's the balloon wearing a Hirono mask. So I don't know, am I owning a Hirono figurine or a figurine with a balloon head? But yes, we have Hirono. He looks like he's on display at a clothes shop. He even has a price tag in front. I like the colors for this one though. It's back to a more iconic Hirono color scheme with browns and grays. And for some reason, Hirono does really well with the matte vinyl touch to their figurines. 
So I really like this one. That's figure three. Box number four. This set has been nothing but full of surprises so far. From burst to costume. Let's see whether we'll be surprised. Again. Oh my goodness, I can't open the box, guys. Right. <laughs> it's really hard to open boxes with a camera right in front of you. Wow, this one is stunning. He's called Drowning. He has gray skin this time, and he poured gold paint all over him. And it seems like he's drawing on himself as well with a red paintbrush. I wonder what he's about to draw. This is my first time seeing such a pale skin color on Hirono. And did you guys realize this one has the ceramic finishing, the shiny finishing, compared to the other two that we unboxed? Oh, the burst one also has a ceramic finishing. I just realized it. <laughs> yeah, it's also shiny. If I'm not wrong, it's the first time that Hirono ever had shiny figurines. Maybe some of the bigger figurines had a shiny finishing? I'm not too sure. Wow, look at the gold paint. It's iridescent as well. And the detail on the bucket on top is really well done. It looks really rusty and it even has the dents in the paint bucket. That's so awesome. Oh, and he comes with a stand forgot about that. So here is how Hirono looks like on the stand. That is figure number four. Box number five. We are halfway done. Oh, this one is a special one. We have healing. So the suitcase is detachable from Hirono. So he kind of just sits onto the suitcase. And it seems like Hirono is trying to sew himself up again. Trying to heal himself. <gasps> oh no! Look at how torn and tattered he is. So this Hirono has a very unique finishing. I think it's supposed to replicate fabric kind of material. And it seems like Hirono is supposed to be a soft toy or maybe a keychain, seeing how he has a keychain hook on top. Oh, this figure is so detailed. And he has his eyes closed. Is this the first time we have Hirono's eyes closed? When I first saw the photos of this figure, it didn't really make it to the top of my list. But seeing this one in real life, I think I'll have to rearrange my list again. So that is figure number five. Box 6. There have recently been so many figurines that I really want. Oh, that's a spoiler. But I really have to pick and choose. I'm starting to run out of space. This is a popular one. We have Paradise Lost. This reminds me of a previous Hirono figurine. I think it's the one with the elephant and a banana. I think it had the same kind of color as this one. So the base is once again detachable from Hirono, so he sits on it. And Hirono looks like a clown here, or maybe a jester, seeing how he has this collar around him. And one nice detail is that Hirono is actually holding on to the key that will wind him up, so maybe he is a puppet. Wow, I like the contrast in color between his body color and the hat, and it's actually the same as the color. A nice pink and blue. I believe this Hirono set is one of the darker themed ones. But I don't mind it at all. I really like the artistic style of these figures. Which one is your favorite, guys? Do let me know in the comments. Box 7. We haven't gotten the fading one yet. My favorite one. Whoa, speaking of the devil. Figure 7 is fading. He looks so adorable. He looks so innocent. And can you guys tell? It's iridescent! He looks like he is a crystal of some sorts. 
seeing how his stand has little crystals. Wow, this is such a cute one. <gasps> his head looks a little bit translucent. It seems like you can see through it and there's something inside. Let's zoom in a little bit. There we go. I'm hoping my camera is picking up the details nicely for you guys. So you guys can enjoy the beauty of Hirono. And there's not much to say about this one, apart from the fact that he looks really adorable. That is figure 7. Box number 8. What are we missing? Oh, we have this one and this one that's missing. Unless one of it is this one. But I don't think Secret's going to appear. I have really bad luck with Secret's. We have the wooden one. He's called Wood Carving. So another Hirono with a more iconic color scheme, brown. And it seems like he is supposed to be a tree, seeing how his two hands are tree branches. <gasps> oh no, who broke your heart, Hirono? He's mending his broken heart with two wooden blocks. That's so sad. So he's standing on a tree stump and it comes together with it so it's not detachable. Here is the back. He even has this sort of wood shaving finishing. I think that detail is quite good. Two little leaves. Oh, three actually. Maybe Hirono is trying to grow again from his heartbreak. I wonder who broke your heart, Hirono. So that is figure eight. Last box. Box number nine. Figure nine is Parasite. This figure does look poisonous to me. These mushrooms. And it seems like the mushroom is growing out of Hirono. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Did you eat the mushrooms? Is that why you're poisoned? He even has a bandage on his feet, and it has blood! So Hirono is wearing a nice green shirt, and he has a plaster on his hair. I wonder if that's doing anything. And it looks like he's standing on some soil. That is figure number 9. Let's take a look at the cards. The cards this time look different from their previous series. They usually are all uniform in color, but this time around it's very colorful and it matches their character. Camera went out of focus, so here are the last two. Here are the figures lined up together. What do you guys think? Which one is your favorite? I'd like to know what are your first impressions of this set because it really is a very different artistic style for Hirono. And that's all for today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye-bye!